Well, there are a few dark clouds in the background. Let's hope the sunshine holds. But certainly smiling on Guy Martin at the moment. What a day he's having in search of his hat-trick. His team boss, Alistair Flanagan, I'm sure, will be very, very pleased. So, front row, Guy Martin, Bruce Anstey, Ian Hutchison and Darren Lindsay. Second row, John McGuinness, Ian Locker, Raymond Porter and Jason Griffiths. Third row, Paul Hunt, Connor Cummins, Martin Finnegan and Adrian Archibald. Who got the best start? Looks like Darren Lindsay and Guy Martin. But it's Darren Lindsay who leads. On board with him. Well, I was going to say clear track in front of him, but he's been hijacked. Three riders past him, including Ian Locker. Looks like Bruce Anstey. John Burroughs on 16. Leads the second group off. Ian Hutchison leads this race with Locker in second. They spread out across the track. Look at Anstey nipping up the inside. What a move that was. Dropping down the deer's leap now. Here's a replay of the start from Ian Locker's bike. Locker, a man who has won 12 times at the Austria Grand Prix. And when you watch this start, you can see why. Storms into the lead. Just look at Ian Hutchison. Hutchison came right past Locker and the two wheels touched. Here's another look at that. These bikes travelling through the speed trap at upwards of 165 miles per hour. And how close was that? Incredible. Well, his nickname's Lucky Locker. Ian Hutchison and Ian Locker... We're both lucky there. Through Turnagraf, now the hairpin. So Hutchison leads from Locker, Anstey third, Porter fourth, Guy Martin in fifth, Darren Lindsay sixth. On board with Locker as Hutchison accelerates away. Bike 17, the fluorescent machine, is our cameraman from the last race, James McBride, riding for the local CD racing outfit. Now, through the start finish, it's still Hutchison from Locker, from Anstey. Guy Martin trying to get past Raymond Porter. Flat out here from Locker again. But just look who storms past him. Bruce Anstey in the second. By 21, there is Les Shan riding for the Yule Duncan Racing Team. His teammate Cameron Donald from Australia was expected to go really well at the Ulster, but he's missing through injury. Bruce Anstey on five, takes the race lead. Connor Cummins has got John McGuinness for company. 45 there, Martin Finnegan. We're riding with Darren Lindsay. Raymond Porter in front of him. Lindsay in fifth place at the moment. Oh, smoke from Porter's machine. Big problems for him. His race, I'm sure, will be over. Yes, Porter has disappeared. So it's Hutchison from Locker, from Guy Martin, Bruce Anstey now in fourth, and Darren Lindsay in fifth. Well, take your eyes off this for a second, and it's all change, isn't it? Hutchison from Locker. Oh, look at Martin on nine. He's round the long way. I think he's too wide, he is. Can Anstey get up the inside? Not quite. Well, here's a replay of exactly what happened to Raymond Porter. Just wait for it. Pop. Engine blown, possibly. Another lap complete for the front five. Kai Martin is absolutely determined to get past Ian Locker, isn't he? He's swarming all over him. Hutchison still holds the advantage. Bike six, Adrian Archibald. Well down the order on the Taz Suzuki. Ian Hutchison still leads. What a season this young man is having. A win at the Northwest 200 and a couple of lap records to boot. Podium at the Isle of Man TT. Lap record here today. Can he get a race win? On board with Ian Locker. And Guy Martin takes second place. 
Guy Martin is on the charge. Down the deer's leap, Canny and Locker respond. Race over for bike 66. Another disappointment for William Dunlop. Back on board again with Locker. Drops another place as Bruce Anstey takes third. Well, this is another brilliant race at the Ulster Grand Prix. Locker sounding very sweet indeed. Outer wheelers. Well, pick any one of these five. Any one of them could take the race win here. Hutchison from Martin, from Anstey, from Locker, from Lindsay. Down into the hairpin. And Hutchison's run a little wide this time. I think he was too hot into the hairpin. And Guy Martin's got past him. Guy Martin is the new race leader. John McGuinness and Connor Cummins vying for seventh place. On to the last lap. Just four machines now. No, there's the fifth one, Bruce Anstey. So Bruce Anstey has dropped back. Must have had a bit of a problem. Down the flying kilo. It's Guy Martin from Ian Hutchison, from Ian Locker and Darren Lindsay. We're ready again with Lindsay. Connor Cummins has got past John McGuinness, so Cummins is in seventh place. Jason Griffiths is sixth, Bruce Anstey fifth, Darren Lindsay fourth, Ian Locker in third, Hutchison in second, and Guy Martin leads. Darren Lindsay once on the podium. Right hander before the long drop down the Deers lead. He's got a good drive out of there, Darren Lindsay, and he's gone past Ian Locker, has he? They're right together, and Lindsay goes into third. Oh, not for long. Locker in the Cochrane's town. Well, he's safely away, but Darren Lindsay was just pushing too hard, wasn't he? Had to take the slip road, but a valiant effort from the local man. Restarts the race. Well, he'll be too far back to mount the challenge now. Just a few corners to go. Martin still holds off Hutchison. Into the hairpin. No mistakes from Guy Martin. Locks out Hutchison. Locker in third. Who will it be in fourth? It's Bruce Anstey. At the front, through the quarries. It's still Guy Martin from Hutchison. Hutchison's got the bike cranked right over, but Martin holds on. It's a hat trick for Guy Martin. His third win of the day. And Ian Hutchison broke his own lap record on the final lap. A new lap record of 125.43 miles per hour.